In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly effectively create an SEO content pillar plus a set of customer persona documentation, which is going to be very, very effective for your content writing because you can feed all these documents into ChatGPT or into Claude and the output that they generate with this information is going to be far superior than without these documents. In fact, if you create these documents and you use them to train your GPT or your Claude when you're writing your content for your blogs, you can start generating blogs that when done consistently can go from 34 clicks organically a day to anywhere between 835 clicks per day. This is over a period of about three, six months, mind you. And also you can see that I'm only filtering out by the blog so we can have really, really good advantages. The whole thing here is to create these documents that you can feed into GPT or Claude so that I have an understanding of what they're writing about and who they're writing to. If you don't know me, my name's Nico. I run an AI powered SEO agency. More importantly, I run an online community called the AI Ranking and Automation Hub, where we teach you how to rank your website number one with the help of all these AI tools. We make it nice and simple. We also have all a bunch of different tutorials that you can follow that gives you all the information that you need to rank your website number one with the help of artificial intelligent tools. We also have weekly catch-ups, which is a lot of fun, where you can ask us questions and you have a dedicated SEO support manager that can help you on your journey to rank your website. Anyway, for this tutorial, we're going to create a SEO content pillar and some customer personas for this website. They, uh, they work with NDIS, with the National Disability Insurance Support within Australia, uh, and they help people with hoarding and squalloring issues uh, so it's a very niche service, but I wanted to do something very niche so you understand that anyone can do this. Now, I have made already custom GPTs that will help you do all this documentation for you. So to make things very, very easy, still you need to go through the steps with me to create everything appropriate, appropriately. So the first thing we need to do is create a customer persona. Ideally, you want to create one, two, or three. Now I've got the custom GPT, the customer, the custom GPT that's going to help you generate that, but you need to give it information and we're going to download all your website's information, but it can be more information. And if you don't have a website at the moment and you want to generate this, you can just type as much information as you can to this custom GPT, which I'll leave linked in the description below. But if you do have a website and the website is not so big, meaning more than 50 pages, you're going to copy the URL and we're going to go to a tool free called Goggle Gobble Bot. Strange looking tool, but very useful. You're going to paste the URL there and we're going to press enter and it's going to start scraping the website and just download all the information in a text file, which is really handy because feeding that into a custom GPT or into Claude just makes it very easy for it to read all that data and understand right away who it's writing for when you prompt these tools correctly. So we're going to give it a while and it's going to give me everything in a very large text file. I think it's done. Just download all in one file and save that in a folder because we're going to start throwing a bunch of information into that same folder. So we have now the first thing we need, which is all the information about our business. Perfect. Well, now we need to create a few personas, customer personas, ideally two to three, four, if you've got the time to do it. Now, um, using the customer persona GPT that I'll leave linked below, all you need to do is drag the text file from all the website information into that custom GPT. And it's already trained to do its thing. So you're just gonna press enter and watch it do its magic. My GPT is gonna look a little bit different because I'm using the desktop version for now, but don't worry, this is gonna be free. And you can use it on your browser as well. But see already, it's created me, it's understood that based on the information provided, here's a comprehensive customer persona for my inclusion, focusing on the primary customer, the segment they serve. So it's creating a customer persona, the background, the goals, the behaviors, the interests and everything. And if you look at the end, what you're gonna ask it to do is now to generate the text file that you can download. If that's not working for you for some reason, that's fine. Just open up your text editor and you can paste and copy that document. See, now I can download this text file customer persona. I'm gonna save it in the folder where I've got everything here, putting everything in this example files folder and I've got the first customer persona. Now, I want at least three here. So 
I'm going to just ask it to create another customer persona while we're at it. And it's already creating another one. Uh, this name, his customer, this customer's persona's name is John Roberts and a little bit older. Perfect, so it's already working for us. Now, while it's writing the second and third customer persona, you just wanna go through the first one and make sure that in fact, this kind of does look like the customers that you should be or might be serving in with your service or your product. And for this instance, it's perfect. Um, NDIS participant and occupator, it's kind of exactly what I wanted to do, which is fantastic. Um, and now the it's creating the text file for the second customer persona, which is fantastic. I can download this guy, you can save it there. And for the good due diligence, we're gonna create the third one here. The reason why creating customer persona documents is so good is because when you're writing content for either your website, you really shouldn't be writing content for yourself, for you or your business, you should be writing content that serves the customer persona, that gives them value, gives your potential customers value. And by creating this and then giving it to a custom GPT or Claude, it just improves the output so much more. Again, if you're not getting the option to download the CSV for some reason, sometimes GPT is a bit on the fritz, you just copy the output, you open up any text editor, you copy it, you paste, you paste it, and then you save it in the file where you've got all your other folders for this project but this one's worked at the moment. I'm gonna save it again. Beautiful, so we've got three customer personas. We've got our first three documents that we need. Well done. Now, let's start creating an SEO strategy or an SEO content pillars. This is gonna understand what you should be writing about and organize you into, and organize a GPT into, into what are the best topics to write about. So I've created an SEO content pillar GPT for you and all you need to do is provide it all the four files that you should have now. Those four files are the all-in-one, that's the text information from the website that Gobblebot downloaded and you wanna give it all three customer personas. Give it a little while and hit enter and just let it do its thing. It's giving you an overview, the main content pillars, the detailed understanding of each content pillar as well. Of course, you need to double check this to make sure that it makes sense and that everything it's writing is actually in alignment with your website and your services. And that's generally the thing with all these AI tools. You can't just trust them blindly. Sometimes they can hallucinate. So it's a good idea just to check the output. But for the most part, it's looking like I'm liking the majority of the output. Perfect. So as you can see here, I've structured it to create a main, a couple of main content pillars, main pillars, and then f each one of those pillars are gonna have sub pillars as well with blog ideas that you can write about and FAQs, meaning what are the most frequently asked questions about this topic. That way you can start writing content that people are actually asking for. And if this custom GPT is working correctly, it should give you two files at the end. It should give you the CSV file of the content pillar itself, and again, if these things don't work, if you can't download the C, the text file, which in this instance is gonna be the most important thing, you wanna copy it, you wanna get your notes app that you have and paste it in there and then save it as the content pillar documentation, again, with it in that folder that you have all the other stuff in. I'm gonna see if it'll download this for me though. And it did, I've got my SEO content pillar. So now your folder should look like this. You should have the TXT file with all your information on the website. You should have three customer personas and you should have an SEO content pillar strategy. Great, you've actually done a lot of work in a tiny bit of time that is going to be very beneficial for you. So you've got all the documentation. Now what do you do? Well. What you want to do is start a brand new conversation and you want to get your GPT ready. You can actually build a custom GPT for this in the back end. I've got a video on how to do that if you want to follow that along. But for any type of conversation, for, but for any type of language tool, but for any type of AI powered chatbot like GPT or Claude, this will be enough. I've created a bit of a I've created a bit of a standard prompt for you that will turn that GPT or Claude into a very high quality content copywriter, but you need to ensure that you also give it the files that we've just created. You see, this gives it some background. It gives it a persona and it gives them some, and it gives a very detailed background because you've made the effort into creating all this documentation for you. So I'm going to copy the prompt here 
And before I hit enter, I'm also going to give it all the files that this thing needs. The only problem that you might have here is that the all-in-one text file from the download of your computer might be too large. If that's the case, you can go into it, delete a couple of files or delete a couple of words. You don't need all of your website information there and upload it again. So I'm going to hit enter with all the information that I've just generated in my prompt that's going to turn this into a content copywriter. It's retrieving all the information. So it has an initial setup. You want to get this going and this is what's going to make this an incredible content copywriter and really help you build out the foundations for a really successful SEO content strategy. So if you read the messaging here, I've preloaded it with some with I've preloaded it. So you barely have to do anything. It knows what to do. I've built it so that it guides you through the writing process. You don't have to do much. Um, it's really asking you, would you like to proceed with this process or any specific content or customer personas? Uh, I want to say that let's write a blog targeted towards Emily Thompson, which is one of the customer personas that we generated. I've just asked, so let's write a blog targeted towards Emily. Give me a few blog ideas. And it's given me a couple here. So one is to a step-by-step -step guide to navigating the NDIS system for homemakers, how to maximize your NDIS plans, tips for homemakers, perfect. Um, therapeutic gardening, I like that one. I'm going to pick number three. So let's tell it, okay, let's write uh, number three. So it guides you through the whole writing process. And because it has your, your information of your website, if it can, it'll take that information to write the content as well. And at the end, it will generate a meta description ready for you to go, which is really important, and a SEO friendly title for this. Uh, I'm just going to place this into a document just to see the word count and everything. Although word count isn't really important. It's about the quality of the content. Okay, let's see, use tools and go word count. 916 words, nearly a thousand words. That's more than enough. I just got to read through and make sure that I'm happy with it. One final thing that you could do as well is go back to GPT-4 and because it's got some image making capabilities, you can ask it to create a uh, an image for the blog. <sighs> create a feature image for the blog, ensure that it is 16 by nine in ratio, I mean, and it's going to start creating the image and perfect. It's about the benefits of therapeutic gardening for those older people. And you can see my image here is not bad at all. See already within five minutes, I've created really high quality data that I can give GPT or Claude so that it understands what it's writing about. And trust me, the app will be a lot better. And I can guarantee you that if you follow this step by step process, and are constantly writing blogs like this, you will start seeing results after three months. That's the thing, SEO takes a little bit of time. And whilst you are writing it with AI, there's no issues because the main thing is to write, to write valuable content for your audience. And this helps you do that in a good way because you are focusing your content to the customer persona that you want to solve the issues or that you are trying to deliver your services to. A really easy strategy and all with free tools. As a little plus, by the way, if you're using Claude, what I do recommend is trying Claude's project feature. So if you go to Claude and go to projects and create a project, you can create a project as your SEO content writer and give it all the information that we generated. And that's going to be your forever content copywriter. And the copywriting of Claude, in my opinion, is a lot better than GPT-4.0. I hope you like this. I hope it was useful. If you like this sort of stuff and you want to learn more and how to automate a lot of this stuff, I recommend you check out our community. Um, it's a lot of fun. We're growing, growing. We're growing very quickly. There is now a dedicated SEO manager there to answer all your SEO-related questions. We do really cool automations about this, and uh, it's a lot of fun. If you don't want to join that, that's alright. Keep watching these YouTube videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Peace.